Circus QT. It looks like Windy Town is not too windy anymore. Mayor Wyndham, we demand an explanation. Yes, where's the wind? An explanation? <laughs> oh dear, I'm afraid I don't have an explanation. Well, we better figure something out and fast. No wind on tight day. Have you ever heard of such a thing? Oh dear. If this keeps up, we'll have to change our name to Windless Town. <coughs> nine, <coughs> nine o'clock, and all's well. How can you say that, Walter? It's kite day, and there's no wind. I've been around a long time, Mr. Mayor, and I can state for a fact we always have wind on kite day. He seems very sure about that, Mr. Mayor. Well, all I know is I have some very disappointed kids over at the schoolyard. <laughs> children, children, may I have your attention, please? I want to introduce the judge of this year's kite contest, Dumbo the Flying Elephant. Yay! Yay! Hi, I'm Lionel. What's your name? Tommy. And which of these kites is yours, Tommy? I don't have a kite. Why, I thought every kid in Windy Town had a kite. I'm new in town. I don't know how to make one. Well, I know a pretty good kite maker. And uh, maybe he could teach you how to do it. Gee, do you think he would? Sure! And I know just where to find him. Uh, uh, Mr. Dumbo, is it true that whoever wins the contest uh, gets to be in your show today? That's right. But these kites are all great. I don't know how I'll be able to pick the best one. It's not how they look. It's how they fly that counts. Well, I don't see how we can fly our kites at all without any wind. Ten o'clock, and all will... But, Walter, how can you say that when it's kite day and we can't fly our kite? Well, the day's not over yet. 
I can state for a fact we always have wind on kite day. Mr. Mayor, certainly you can do something to bring back the wind. That's right. We elected you because you're so good at long-windy speeches. That's long-winded speeches, Milton. Oh, right. But I'm working on it. In fact, I have all the top scientists in Windy Town working right now on the problem. <laughs> Unfortunately, none of them has come up with any ideas. Have you tried a wind thing? What is a wind dance? Oh, I'll show you. Now, this little dance is guaranteed to raise a gale for your money back. But I'll need some help. We'll help you, Barnaby. Oh, what do you want us to do? Well, first of all, I want you to think wind. That doesn't sound too hard. Uh, wind. 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 Okay, now hold that thought and copy me. And just keep copying until the wind comes up. There's a little dance I know of when you want the winds to blow. A very simple step. I mean, you don't need to be hip or hep to dance it gracefully. See? Uh -huh. It also has a little chant with words so easy anyone can't fail to sing along. So join me as I sing this song and dance along with me. Are you ready? One, two, three. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Oog, oog, oog. Oog, oog, oog. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, win, let's go. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Oog, oog, oog. Oog, oog, oog. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, win, let's blow. Now, when you want a gale or breeze, don't leave anything up to chance. Just shake your elbows and your knees and do the win. And dance. Oh, go, 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 go. Hey! And that's where Lily walks on the high wire. Oh, wow. And this is where QT plays the calliope. Who's QT? Well, well, he's the one who made all these great kites. He is? Oh, wow. Did somebody call me? Tommy, I want you to meet my good friend QT. Hmm. I wish I had a good friend. Hmm. We move around so much, I never get to make friends with anyone. I know what you mean, kid. We move around all the time, too. But we make friends everywhere we go. Come on, QT. Let's show our new friend how to make a kite and new friends. I love kites. It's so enjoyable when you make them with friends. And so I love kites. Away from the trees, and everyone sees that we love kites. It's true. And though I know there's lots of other things to do all day. When you have got a couple friends to help you, then it's fun to stay. And you can quote me, I, I love, love kites. They fill the sky up with fun and dance with the sun. Hey, looky, I'm done. Great. I love kites. to give it a chance. <laughs> See? It worked. <laughs> Barnaby, it was just me sneezing. There must be a flower garden around here. Uh, uh, why, uh, Mrs. Wentworth's rose garden is right next to the school. Did you say rose garden? That gives me an idea. I don't know if this is such a good idea, Barnaby. Well, you've got to judge these kites, right? Right. And you can't judge them unless they're flying, right? Right. And they can't fly without wind, right? Right. So let's give it a try. Okay, Barnaby. I'll try. Uh, 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 uh. <coughs> oh, come on. 
Come on, Dumbo. You can do better than that. I don't know, Barnaby. A bunch of roses coming up. Uh, 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 uh. I think that's the best I can do. Just give it one more try, please. First Pepper ought to do the trick. Uh -huh. Oh, no. Not Pepper. You know what happens when I get Pepper in my trunk, Barnaby. Oh, no. That's what I'm counting on. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh-oh. I'm sorry, man. Don't be sorry, Dumbo. It was a good try. But I wrecked your kite. That's all right. I made an extra one just in case. How's this? Fabuloso! Yeah, and now you get to decorate it. <laughs> That's the fun part. Now just use these pretty colors. And I know exactly what I'm going to do. Only it's going to be a surprise. Cover your eyes. And no peeking. <clears throat> Eleven o'clock, and all's well. Well, Walter, where's that wind you've been promising us? Oh, you can't hurry things like that. It'll be here when it comes. If only we could find a way to fly the kites without wind. Oh, uh, uh, did you say without wind? Well, I don't think that's possible. The only one I know of who can fly without wind is Dumbo. And, uh, uh, Dumbo? Hey, that's it! Dumbo? Don't understand these circus folks at all. I don't know about this, Barnaby. But Dumbo, what could go wrong? You pull that heavy old wagon every day. Compared to that, these kites are nothing. Okay, I'll try, but no more pepper. That's a promise. <laughs> now that's the way to fly a kite. I'll say, with ears like that, who needs wind? Higher, Dumbo, higher. I knew you could do it. Oh, no. Watch out for the... Three. I wasn't looking where I was going. I'm sorry about the kite. I feel terrible. Oh, uh, that's okay, Dumbo. Sure, and nothing a little glue will fix. There's just one little thing we need, Dumbo. What's that? We need you to get them out of that tree. <laughs> Kite's coming up. I mean, coming down. Okay, you can open them now. <gasps> a circus kite! Look, Lionel, there's Dumbo and Lily and Barnaby. And there you are. <laughs> and who's that handsome orangutan? Oh, Gee, Tommy, you didn't have to put me in there. But I wanted to, cutie. I wanted to put all my new friends on my kite. I love kites. It's so enjoyable when you paint them with friends and folks. I love kites. They glide by careless and free and colorfully. It's easy to see why I love kites. Do you think it will really fly? Sure it will. But... What if the wind doesn't come up? What do I do then? What, what's that? I'm sorry. I just don't know what to do. Well, you'd better do something. It's almost noon. It's almost time for the... Uh, uh, <coughs> kite contest. Yes, indeed. I don't even mind losing my hat. Twelve o'clock. Oh, well, I think it's about time for that kite contest. The wind, it's here. It sure is. 
Look at your kite. Oh, wow. It flies. Almost as good as Dumbo. We'd better get back to the schoolyard before they start the contest. Now, 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 children. Uh, when I drop my hand, you are to release your kite all at once. Are you ready? Ready. ready. Set. Set. Wait, wait. We have one more entry. Are you ready and set, Tommy? Yes, Mr. Mayor. Okay, then. Go! Good luck, Tommy. Thanks, you see, with the circus kite, how can I lose? How will I ever be able to tell which one is the highest? Well, I guess that's why they chose you as judge, big guy. You can get a bird's eye view, <laughs> uh, so to speak. This is going to be fun. I just want to say that you all made very beautiful kites, but there was one that flew above all the others. And the winner of this year's kite contest is... Tommy! Congratulations, Tommy! Thank you, Dumbo. Wow, that's the most beautiful kite I've ever seen, Tommy. Could you show me how you made it? Why, sure. I don't think you're going to have to. Any trouble making friends in Windy Town, Tommy? Come on, everybody. It's time for a show. Whoa! Hey, my hat. Well, you win some and you lose some. <laughs> for a good old-fashioned sing-along. I'm an elephant, too. And I can do what the elephants do. I can flap my ears, wave my trunk, and do a turn or two like the elephants do. Another one comes in to you. They flap their ears, wave their trunks, and do a turn or two. That's what elephants do. Elephants swaying back and forth to a jungle beach. Elephants walking through the trees on the very big, very big beach. You're an elephant too, and you can do what the elephants do. You can flap your ears, wave your trunk, and do a turn or two like the elephants do. Like the elephants do. Like the elephants do. Like the elephants do. And speaking of fun, it's time to start the sideshow. And now it's time for Sebastian the Ventriloquist and his sidekick Sly. Watch closely because you're going to see some great entertainment. Why, I'm really lucky to have a friend like you. You're lucky to have a friend at all. <laughs> you know, sometimes you can learn new things from friends. For instance, Today, I thought I'd show you how to lift something heavy. I already know how to lift something heavy. You do? Sure. 
called QT. He'll be glad to lift anything heavy. That's not what I mean. I'm talking about lifting weights. I'm very good at it, you know. That doesn't surprise me. It doesn't? Oh, it doesn't surprise me at all. You've had a lot of practice lifting heavy things, like your head. Now fly? You know you don't mean that. Now, the most important thing to remember is to concentrate. I'm going to lift this dumbbell with my right hand. <laughs> Watch carefully while I lift it higher, higher, and higher up over my head. Okay, which dumbbell should I watch? Which one? Yeah, the thing in your hand for you. <laughs> well, now listen, you. <laughs> you're really good, but you're even better at dropping weights than at lifting them. <laughs> I do it for faster and slide. Now, uh, don't get them wrong, folks. They're really the best of friends. I'm going to get you, you clock-headed little piece of two by four. Uh, yes, sir, uh, the, uh, the best of friends. <laughs> yeah. And, and now, moving right along, folks, here's one of my favorite friends, Lily. Thanks, Lionel. Tongue twisters are hard to say fast. So I'm going to say one very slowly at first. Then we'll say faster and faster until our tongues get all twisted up. Are you ready to say a tongue twister with me? <laughs> sure, sure, yeah. Uh -huh. And you try it with us, okay? Here's the tongue twister. If a woodchuck could chuck wood, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He would chuck he would as much as he could if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Okay, now let's do it together. Ready? Are you ready? Let's go. Yeah, if a woodchuck wood could chuck wood, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He would chuck he would as much as he could. If a woodchuck could chuck wood. Oh, good. Now, let's do it a little faster, please. If a woodchuck could chuck wood, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He would chuck he would as much as he could. If a woodchuck could chuck wood. Oh, that was a long one. You did it very well. Oh, uh, Lily. Yeah. Uh, I have a question. You do? About the tongue twister? What's your question? Oh, uh, well, we were saying about how much wood could a woodchuck chuck. Yeah. Uh, what's a woodchuck? <laughs> oh, my. Well, a woodchuck is a little animal. Wait here, and I'll get a picture. Here. This is what a woodchuck looks like. <laughs> Cute little fella. Uh, and he looks like he could chuck wood, too. <laughs> oh, he can. Shall we say the tongue twister once more? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. If, if a, a woodchuck, woodchuck could chuck wood, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck? If a woodchuck could chuck wood. He would chuck the wood as much as he could if a woodchuck could chuck wood. That was terrific. Bye-bye now. Yowza, yowza, boys and girls. And that takes us to that master of the sky, Rinkum Pinkum. Who is he today? And where is he from? That's for you to find out. Take it away, Rinkum, and fool our friends if you can. Good night, Mike. Today I'm pretending to be someone who takes very long trips. Trips that are farther than any of you have ever gone on a vacation. Trips that are farther than I've ever gone in my whole life. Farther than the beach? Farther than the mountain? Farther than the North Pole? That's right. Much, much farther. Did you go in a car? No, I did not. 
Did, did you go on a boat? No, sirree. I know, I know. You end in an aeroplane. Aha, you're getting warm. I'll give you another clue. On my trip, the Earth looked just like a big round ball. Oh, oh my gosh. Why, you're pretending to be... Oh, no. An, an alien, alien from, from outer space. Yeah. <laughs> Well, what got into them? That's not the answer at all. I bet you know who I'm pretending to be, don't you? That's right, an astronaut. Astronauts go way out in outer space, much farther than any vacation you've taken, and astronauts go in a spacecraft. Not a car or a boat. And astronauts can see our Earth. Say, maybe someday you'll be an astronaut too. At least, it's fun to pretend. Bye, mate. Did you get the answer? Well, to tell you the truth, I didn't either. <laughs> but someday, someday. Right now, it's time to go for a while. But we'll be back real soon with more of Dumbo Circus. See you then. Bye-bye. Thank you.